Hi, my name is Alden Littlewood. I'm a second year child psychiatry fellow at the University of Maryland and Shepherd Pratt. For me, University of Maryland was a good fit because of the larger class size and the warm atmosphere, and also the um, wide range of clinical sites where we rotate meant I knew I would get a real depth and breadth of clinical experience in the field. The program is collaborative and supportive and always really friendly. Um, the attendings are really are accessible and um, they're available to us 24-7 for when we need support. Moonlighting is allowed. It has to be approved by the training director and extra training cannot occur during any daytime work hours or interfere with any of your clinical duties. Fellows have the opportunity to moonlight if they choose at various different ER and inpatient sites around the city. Um, normally, I spend a lot of time exploring all of the restaurants and museums and parks in Baltimore. I also really like to get outside and I love that there's a lot of really beautiful green space nearby that's really great for hiking. Our didactic content is geared towards those taking both the adult and child psychiatry board exams. Plus, the program supplies us with um, subscriptions to commercial board prep courses for both the adult and child boards. Hi, my name is Jennifer Trin and I'm a fellow in the Child Psychiatry program. The reason I chose this program is because of its diversity in fellows, faculty, and training sites, including the partnership with the Shepherd Pratt Health System. I was especially impressed by the strong female leadership and the robust psychotherapy training. We have a strong focus on psychotherapy in addition to the evidence-based use of medications. Over two years, you'll learn how to do parent management training, cognitive behavioral therapy, and trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy. You'll have one to two hours of supervision per week, and there are also opportunities to learn more about play therapy and family therapy. The call schedule is light. Fellows in our program do not take in-house call. We have a collaborative relationship with the adult psychiatry program. Their residents take in-house call to further their exposure to children and adolescents. There is a home call schedule in which fellows are available for a few weeks per year to answer questions by phone overnight and potentially see emergency hospital consults. Trainees in the program go on to practice in a variety of settings, private practice, inpatient, partial hospitalization programs, intensive outpatient, residential treatment centers, state hospitals, academia, and research. Wherever your goal is, this program will prepare you. In my free time, I like to hike, craft, and explore local restaurants in my search for the ultimate crab cake. Hello, my name is Rebecca Cross, and I am a second year child and adolescent psychiatry fellow at the University of Maryland Medical Center. The reason why I chose this fellowship was because of the large class size, dedicated leadership, diversity of the fellows, and the breadth of training sites and clinical opportunities in things like early childhood mental health and school-based mental health. I know that when I graduate from this program, I'm gonna be able to work with children of all ages in practically any practice setting. We accept seven fellows per year for a total of 14 fellows. Our large class size means that you'll always feel supported and have a sense of community. First year fellows round with an attending on the inpatient unit at the University of Maryland Medical Center no more than a few weekends a year. Outside of that, fellows can expect to cover home call approximately one holiday per year. Our program understands that fellowship may coincide with all kinds of life milestones, and our leadership will work with you to make sure you have a healthy balance between work and home life. As someone who's new to this region, I really enjoyed exploring DC, Baltimore, and some of the scenic surrounding areas. A few of my co-fellows have lived in Maryland for some time, and they've really liked showing us around Baltimore, exposing us to some of the amazing cuisine that Baltimore has to offer. I think I'm finally understanding what all the fuss is about with regards to Maryland crabs. We hope this was helpful for you, and we'd like to congratulate you on making it this far in your career. We hope to see you sometime soon on our campus.